Hey, what's up everyone? This is Eli from TouchCheckIt.com here with a Photoshop tutorial on wonderful Wabafet, whatever it is, Wednesday. And today I have a very awesome tutorial for you. It was requested by some subscriber. I'm not sure who it was because it was a while back and I don't really feel like going through all those comments. We get a ton of comments. But anyway, guys, I'll put a link to the original tutorial in the description. It just wasn't explained too well. But it is a very cool effect if you look. It's a very clean minimalist type metal wallpaper that I think looks pretty awesome and everything was done within Photoshop so there's no third-party plugins no links to other things the only link I'm gonna be giving is to the original tutorial and also a link to where I got this font from because I'm not allowed to include it at our website but I will include this project file at checkit.com slash downloads so make sure you go there and pay it a visit we have a ton of awesome downloads you guys can go through and pick whatever you want really it's all free so go check it out and make sure that you leave some love in the comments because I leave all my favorite comments at the end of the video. And also please give the video a like because of course it helps out so much. But anyway guys, you guys might be wondering where I've been for the past week. And to be honest, life kicked my butt guys. I can't be any more honest than that really. My car took a dump and it's in the shop right now getting fixed up. And you really never notice how much you need a car until it's gone. I feel like I'm a freshman in high school again, like asking for rides and stuff. It's driving me crazy. If you guys want to hear the full story about that, I'm putting a vlog up of it on my other channel called Takeover. Brandon's also sometimes in my vlogs too, so if you guys really Miss Brandon, go check out his gaming videos because I mean I'm addicted to them. I watch them every time he releases them and he's releasing four videos a week. But now we can get to the tutorial and I'm back on schedule. So let's do this thing. <laughs> Alright, let's start by creating a new project by going control or command N. And we'll just call this whatever you want. Uh, let's call it main shizzle. Okay, we're gonna make it 1920 by 1080, of course. 8-bit is fine, 72 resolution is fine, It's all. it all depends on what you guys want. I'm not the boss of you, goodness gracious. I'm gonna hit OK. And next what we wanna do is we wanna go down to this background layer, we wanna double click on this lock, and we just wanna hit, click OK, and let's double click on layer 0 and just call it BG, cause that stands for background if you guys didn't know. Okay, it's kind of a designer thing. <laughs> now let's click on this black color swatch over here. And now let's type in a value down here, which is 332222. And that just creates this auburn kind of cool looking color. We're going to hit OK. And now with background selected, we're going to hit Control or Command Backspace to fill it with that color we just made. And now let's hit T to bring up our text tool. And let's just click anywhere and let's type in whatever we want. I already typed in wallpaper, so now let's type in uh, minimalist. Oh, 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 there we go. Perfect. <laughs> All right, let's hit the check mark. And by the way, guys, I'm using a font called Caviar Dreams. I know it sounds stuck up, but I'll provide a link to that in the description. It's right here. Uh, if you guys want to get it free at defont.com, they're awesome. Anyway. Let's now switch to our move tool by hitting V or just going to the move tool up there. And let's hit Control or Command T and let's just size it up. And I'm holding Shift and Alt to make it bigger in place. That's what she said. Okay, now let's hit the check mark. And here's a here's a quick tip that uh, centers things pretty easy. In the text-based tutorial, he goes this huge roundabout way to get it centered, but it's very easy if you just select the layer, hit Control or Command A. And you can only do this if you guys have the move tool up, but I already told you to switch to the move tool. But anyway, now we can go up to these weird looking squares. We're going to hit the middle of both of them and it centers it perfectly. So that's just a quick shortcut to use. Now if we hit Control or Command D, that deselects it. And now we can get to the fun part. Let's start by creating a new layer by hitting Control Shift N and we'll call this Metal. And we're going to hit OK or just hit Enter. And we're going to go over to this color swatch once again. We're going to click this button right here. It's right next to these arrows. And that just makes them both black and white once again. And we're going to hit these arrows right here to switch them. And now we just have a black and white color swatch. Black is the background and white is the foreground. And now with metal selected, we're going to hit control backspace to fill it with black. And now we're going to lower the opacity to 90%. And we're going to go up to filter, down to render, and go to lens flare. And we're just going to make a lens flare, it doesn't matter exactly how it is. I'm going to drag it a little bit down and maybe just increase the brightness a little bit. Maybe to 107, make sure it's on 50 to 300 millimeters. Zoom. Okay. And now we're going to click and hold Alt. Put the cursor in between Minimalist and the Metal layer. 
and just click. And that just masks the metal layer to the font. It's pretty awesome. And I've used that trick quite a few times, but now let's spice up the minimalist layer by going to the effects panel. And let's just go to the drop shadow first. Do a 90 degree angle. Multiply for the blend mode is fine. You guys can mess with that if you want. You guys can always turn up the opacity as well if you want. Distance, let's make it uh, three or four. Let's just do three. And then for size, we're gonna turn it down to two. Leave everything else the same. Now we're gonna go up to bevel and emboss. You have to actually click on it. Gonna leave the style to inner bevel, the technique to smooth, depth at 100, direction up, size we're gonna put down to zero. And the only thing we're gonna mess with now is the altitude and we're going to turn that to 65 and hit OK. As you can tell it's starting to come together but we need to spice up the background now so let's click on BG, go up to filter, go down to render and go to lens flare and now let's change the lens flare from 107 down to about 101 and let's just drag it up a little bit and maybe more towards the center, maybe right about there. Now we're going to hit OK. And now we're just going to blur the crap out of it. So let's go up to filter, go down to blur, Gaussian blur. And let's just turn this up until we get a desired effect. I think that looks pretty good. Leaving some of the green in the picture because if you blur it too much, you just get this big blob and that just doesn't look as good. So maybe right about there looks the best. Okay, so 69.2. We can actually make it easy and just go to 70. Hit OK. And now let's blend this a little better. Let's go over to image, adjustments, hue and saturation. We're just going to drop down the lightness, just, just a tidbit, just so it's not overly bright. So about negative 18 is fine, okay. And now what we want to do is, we want to create that really cool shadow, but first we need to make room for that shadow. So let's go up to image, down to canvas size, and let's select this bottom arrow so everything is being sent up. Let's change it from inches to pixels, and let's just double the height. Make sure that relative is not selected, otherwise it the width will change with it. If we're doubling 1080, that will be 2160, 2160. Hit OK. And now you'll notice that we just have this big empty area up here, which is fine. It'll make more sense right now. Let's select minimalist and then let's hit Control Shift N to create a new layer. Let's just call it shadow. Hit OK. Let's drag shadow below minimalist. And now let's select minimalist and click and hold Control, select the T and it'll make a selection around minimalist. Now select shadow, make sure that you have black as your background color, and then hit control or command backspace to fill that layer. And if you hit this eyeball, you can tell that I did fill it with black indeed, which is nice. <laughs> now let's hit control or command D to deselect. And now comes the fun part, let's zoom out. And this part you guys need to pay attention to. Let's go up to our actions by going to this little triangle, this play button over here. What we want to do is we want to make a new action by clicking this folded piece of paper. And let's just call it whatever we want. Let's call this shadow yo. And then hit enter to start recording. This red button will be highlighted and that means that we are recording. So first thing we want to do is select shadow. Then go control or command J to duplicate it. Then we want to go control or command T and drag the anchor point while holding shift all the way to the top and then we want to go to the height and change it from 100 to 100.2 and also do that for the width then hit the check mark or hit enter twice and then select the stop playing slash recording button and now we can hit play and it does that whole entire process as many times as we please as many times as we hit that play button and I'm going to hit it until I get a desired effect. That's looking pretty good to me. Maybe a little more. Yeah, right about there looks pretty good. And now we're going to make sure the top of the shadow copies are selected. Then we're going to go all the way to the bottom. Hit and hold shift and click on the bottom one. We're going to hit control or command E. Double click on it. Type in shadow. All right. And then let's close this actions window. And next we want to go up to filter, blur, radial blur. And make sure it's on zoom, best, drag it up to the top left corner, make sure the amount is at 3, hit OK. And now, you'll notice that we got this nice blur going on, but it's not looking too accurate. So what we want to do is hit Ctrl or Command T, zoom out, drag that anchor point straight up while holding Shift once again, and then just size it up a little bit. Now let's zoom back in, and just get it to where we want it. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to use the arrow keys to kind of drag it up right back under it. 
Maybe move it a little bit, just make it more accurate. Okay, hit the check mark. And now we're gonna go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And we wanna put that way down. You know, just make it look a little softer so it looks more like a shadow. Hit okay. And the last step is to hit C. And that brings up your crop tool. Let's drag it down. And it should automatically lock to whatever you had it at before. Then hit the check mark and then hit V and you are done. Check that out. That's the end of the tutorial. I hope you guys learned something awesome today. And I also hope that you guys can find it in your hearts to leave a like and a comment because it helps out so much. All seriousness, you guys are awesome for all the support you guys show, especially on my vlogs and Brandon's gaming videos. You guys have been awesome. Thank you so much. And also, guys, make sure that you stick around to the end of the video because your comments from the last tutorial might have made it to my favorite comments. You never know. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I have to finish a ton of editing and client work, so I gotta let you guys go here. But I will see you guys this Friday for Effects Friday. And with that, I will say goodbye. Peace.